What up y'all, it's T-Turn, and today we're going to be talking about a Pokemon that has to get a Mega Evolution in Pokemon Legends EA. I've been waiting forever to talk about this. A few videos into when I was looking at the Kalos decks, I mentioned a certain rock type that you wouldn't expect, but would have to Mega Evolve in Legends EA, right? This is the video where we talk about it. It's Cleaver. You see, Cleaver is a very special Pokemon. It's one of the first Pokemon we really saw that was reintroducing cross evolutions back into the Pokemon sphere. And it's an alternate evolution to Scyther. So in the same way that Scizor got this mega evolution where it got a lot more defined, sharper, and look at them features, deadly. Bro, you call those pincers? Fam, they look like chainsaws from far away. I think the same should happen to Cleaver, where it also gets a Mega Evolution to make them full-on counterparts of different styles of Scyther evolving, right? So Scizor is when it evolves to focus on its pincers and those little blades. Scyther is known as the Mantis Pokemon. It's got these little sights. The feature that Scizor is known for is having these pincers, these steel pincers. So that's what Mega Evolution transforms and makes it much more deadly. Cleaver, on the other hand, takes a more old-styled approach by just straight up turning those sights into an axe. A very similar weapon, just a lot slower, but more deadly. You know, Game Freak took us away from Mega Evolution for so long that by the time Legends Arceus came out, we didn't even think of the possibility of making Cleaver Mega Evolve. Then out of nowhere, they reintroduced it back. This is one of the first Pokemon that have to be on their list. And you may be saying, well, Cleaver is a Hisuian Pokemon. One, we don't know if they mostly went extinct and are only left in Hisui. And then two, Kalos is very far away from Hisui, right? Hisui is Japan. Kalos is all the way in France. But here's the thing. There's a time period going on here, right? Cleaver and Legends Arceus takes place in a similar time period to Legends EA. And something cool if you pick up that Pokemon did in Legends Arceus is they showed eras in a sense, right? There was an era 200 years ago where instead of the red and blue Basculin, there was instead white Basculin that could evolve that roamed. And in the same way, there was a more widespread existence of Black Augurite that Scyther's would use and evolve into Cleaver rather than the Steel Coats and Scizor. You also had stronger Stantlers that would become wordiers. So while it is a location thing, and also this is just my opinion, while it is a location thing that Hisui itself is what hosted these Pokemon, it could just be an era thing as well. And if you go to other regions, similar Pokemon were there as well. Like Black Augurites were in an older Kalos in that old Lumios as well. So you'd actually find a lot of Cleavers in that game as well. In fact, we run into this situation sometimes in Pokemon games where a very rare Pokemon in one region, like Cleaver in Hisui, could be a pretty common Pokemon in another region. The example I can give you is Riolu and Lucario, right? In Gen 4 and Sinnoh, they're nowhere. You get it from Riley as an egg, but then you go to like Unova in Black and White 2, and they're in, what is it, Flock Chessy Ranch? There's like hundreds of Riolu running around. So while Cleaver have this status as this big noble Pokemon in Hisui, all it really takes is that Black Augurite. It could be a more common Pokemon. And I think the more important thing here is that it was a whole different era in Pokemon. One fun idea is that Cleaver is like a more ancient take on a Scyther evolution while Scizor is like a more futuristic one and it kind of works but then when you look at AZ's flashback I swear you can see Steelix being a part of that war so it's not necessarily a future counterpart it's just a whole different way Scyther could evolve. In the same way, you have Black Augurite, right? So you can imagine a Scyther goes in a cave, finds a cluster of Black Augurite and can use it to evolve. The Steel Coat sounds very modern but you could have just had a Scyther finding a clump of iron and that would allow it to evolve into Scizor as well. So it's just really two different takes on Scyther. It makes Scyther a very interestingly versatile Pokemon. Scyther should go in another cave and find freaking glass and have a third evolution. Yo, I'm actually down for that. Instead of Mega Evolving Cleaver, they could just straight up introduce a third Scyther evolution. And the dude's about to be a new Eevee. Like this frozen over glass that makes Scyther a bug ice type. That typing is horrible. That's weak to everything. Fire, steel, flying, rock. Mm -mm. Check out these stats. So Caesar's main stat is of course its attack, right? It only bumps a bit when it mega evolves. What actually happens to Mega Caesar is it gets a lot more bulky. It's really its defense and special defense that skyrockets a lot. And this is Caesar, the faster evolution. Cleaver would be the slower evolution, so you would have similar stats here for Mega Cleaver, except it would be more tankier. 
so its attack defense and special defense might go up even higher but maybe at the cost of its speed going down this time cleaver getting like 180 tech and like a weak spot in its special defense or something would make them very different tell someone back in 2021 when that chibi bdsp was being announced was freaking coming a new site the revolution mega evolving they'd never believe you in terms of how a mega cleaver could look i'm almost imagining something a lot different to what you'd think i'm almost imagining that it would merge its arms into having like one giant axe which is very not good right there's a big inconvenience for it but it's what mega evolution brings that's why i want it to be even more tankier and have like no speed at all but when it lands an attack it's really strong let's look at some founder someone surely drawn a mega cleaver right Honestly, put up a picture of Scizor and Cleaver. It's so hard to imagine Cleaver actually did evolve from a site there. It's so unnoticeable, but it does have some features. Like, if you look on its back, it does still have a tiny bit of wing left. All right, well, I've done a search and there is no Cleaver Mega Evolution fan art, which is understandable, but I've got the setup here, right? So design-wise, its two arms would join together. <laughs> it would look so hideous to make this one giant axe and you can even make the axe very glossy like it's the black augurite fully replenished and all right it's not gonna look all broken and jaggedy like cleavers does let me move over here two those are those spikes on its shoulders are gonna get even bigger three the wings they're straight up gonna disappear it's gonna show that cleavers taken a clear path away from that flying typing and its typing is gonna retain that bug rock typing and its ability it doesn't even have to get a new ability so mega scissor actually gets scissors special ability technician it brings it to the forefront makes those weaker moves do more damage cleaver i'm gonna predict would also get an existing ability too even though it's fun to talk about new abilities like a rock type version of pixelate and all what i think this cleaver mega cleaver should get is no guard which is perfectly fitting so pretty much anyone that tries to land attacks on it it's so defenseless it will land but at the same time it will always hit you as well with that strong ass offensive power and that one single axe here's what's crazy about this right here's when they can evolve this idea and do something very special so there are certain special pokemon in the game right like pincer that learn moves like guillotine because it can, using its pincers, just straight up cut your head off an Oko move. You got Pokemon like Dugong who gets Sheer Cold. It's never lined up in Pokemon for them to have both an Oko move and no guard which would allow them to always land it i think there was almost a situation where machamp with no guard was going to be able to if you like transferred one from an older game but it never lined up because that would be too broken and the thing is scyther does not learn any oko moves it should learn guillotine or something because it can just straight up slice your head off right with its sights like that and i'm not saying this should happen but why not, you know? If they could give Scyther an Oko move, right? Maybe a special kind of Scyther in Legends that you can find. Only like a rare cave do they have this move sometimes in their move set. Maybe like a rare cave where Black Augurites are so Scyther hang out there. That you can evolve the Scyther into Cleaver. And then only when it's Mega Evolved. Because normal Cleaver wouldn't get no guard. So only when it's Mega Evolved in, in this very vulnerable state could you actually set up the guillotine and a no guard on this slow ass mega cleaver would it be broken absolutely in the metagame this would be instantly banned but the point is not to use it in the metagame right as far as i know though the vgc i'm not talking about smog on right smog on tries to make it more compatible for everyone to play but the official pokemon rules i don't think they've ever really banned a move in particular they only ban pokemon from competing in a certain tournament so i suppose they wouldn't actually ban this mega cleaver but what would happen is as people put this mega cleaver on their team a whole defense would form around it so people would be able to instantly counter a mega cleaver that tries to enter the field like that and i guess pokemon would have to create a proper counter to mega cleaver in the game so that cleaver can't just get away with it something like a protect like move that pokemon can learn in legends ea that many pokemon can learn that if 
specifically Oko moves are used on that turn that it reflects back and kills the enemy. Something like that, right? So once you set up a proper counter to Cleaver like that, then it's okay to allow this broken Pokemon into the metagame. You telling me Mega Kangaskhan and Aegislash weren't broken when they first appeared? Obviously not as broken as this Cleaver idea, but the point is, Cleaver's gonna be too slow to go anyway. And since VGC are two Pokemon at a time rules, it's gonna make Cleaver pretty vulnerable either way, even though it has a perfect accuracy Oko move. And also, even moves like Protect can defend you from an Oko move, right? So if Cleaver aims wrong it loses a whole turn y'all let me know how would you feel about that at the end of the day what they could do worst case scenario is make a cleaver that's set up like this kind of like a blood moon ursaluna so its own species entirely and so that way you can straight up ban that specific pokemon that can do the no guard setup but either way it'd be cool and yeah my dudes there's actually a very big problem game freak has on their hands in terms of mega evolution there's something big that's getting in their way and I think this video is part one to solving that problem. And so next video I make will be addressing that. And if Game Freak listens to this, they will have a whole different light on Mega Evolution. That'll be much better for them going forward. It'll solve all their problems. Maybe some of y'all can use this video to figure out what that is. But yeah, we'll talk about that next time. Shank that like button. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.